Today I'm going to be sharing some of the green beauty products that I love and are tried and true for me so you can start to create your own green beauty makeup collection. I know that switching to natural makeup can be kind of intimidating, so to help you, I have also created a free mini course called Clean Beauty Bootcamp, and it is on my website, Laura's Natural Life. I will put a link below. You can sign up and get your free course. So without further ado, let's begin. So all of these products are either non-toxic, natural, or organic, which means there are not gonna be any parabens, phthalates, synthetic fragrances. So there's no carcinogens that I'm going to be recommending for you to put on your skin because remember, your skin absorbs up to 64% of what you put on it within just a few seconds. So everything in here you can know is going to be a great choice if you're just starting out. Now for foundation, which is obviously a great foundation to your kit. Wow, I'm a nerd. Couple of options. One you may already have if you've been shopping at Sephora or Ulta. Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue is a non-toxic option. It rates really well in EWG. There are very few questionable ingredients. It's a great product. It has SPF. It has beautiful finish. One like that, but less luminous, a little bit more coverage, and more natural ingredients is the Beauty Counter Tint Skin, which I really love as well. And if you want a dewy finish, organic ingredients, light coverage, the 100% pure tin and moisturizer is where it is at. This stuff, honestly, when I started using this, people were like, what happened to your skin? Your skin is glowing. Your skin is so beautiful. The only thing I don't love about this is that it is very, very light coverage. My current favorite is the Gressa Minimalist Corrective Serum Foundation. This is not a cheap one, um, and it is a serum, an oil-based serum, but it dries matte, it literally melts into your skin, and you look like you have super healthy supermodel skin as opposed to that you're wearing makeup. Now, if you prefer a loose powder foundation, I love the Alima Pure Satin Matte Foundation. It's very buildable, never looks cakey. Couple options for concealer. The one that I use just about every day is the Silk Naturals Number no. 2 Brightening Concealer. I've had this little jar for a year and it still isn't out. It is a dupe for the Anastasia Banana Powder and it just really brightens up your under eyes. It's very affordable, like five or six dollars. Silk Naturals is like a great drugstore brand for green beauty. You just can't actually buy it at the drugstore. Now, great concealer to cover up blemishes or actually, you know, do like a triangle of light, etc. is the Well People Bio Correct Concealer. This has an incredible texture. It's almost like a mousse. It's very, very creamy and it just like lays so perfectly on your skin. Now for blush, where I would personally recommend that you start if you like a powder blush and you don't mind loose, is Silk Naturals because they have like honestly probably hundreds of shades and you can purchase a sample of any shade for like a dollar. So my favorite is Desert Plum. It's like a plummy mauve color, but like I said, there's a million on there. Now for a cream, I really like the Well People Universalistics. They have shimmers and mattes. My personal favorite is Dusty Rose, I think it's called, or for a bright pop, I like the blood orange one. Now for bronzer, I have a couple of favorites. If you don't mind loose, I think that this Well People Bio Bronzer Powder is literally the most beautiful, beautiful bronzer shade. It is just like a golden bronze. It's not red, it's not orange. And the Terry Miyahira is very similar to that and it's pressed. However, you can only get her products via her subscription box. If you definitely want pressed and you don't care about having a more red undertone, the 100% pure cocoa pigmented bronzer is beautiful. It has cocoa powder in it. It's super pigmented, so you're going to want a light hand, but it has just a little bit of a red undertone to it. For highlight, I really, really love the Silk Nodules HD Cream Highlight in the shade of Lemon Cello. It's a beautiful yellowy gold highlight. And again, super affordable. They also have powder highlights and um, another kind of like cult classic 
that I cannot find right now is the RMS Living Luminizer. It doesn't really have shimmer in it so much as it just makes you look really like glowy, like you have a healthy skin. RMS is actually does the Victoria's Secret models makeup. So I'm like, you know what? If it's good enough for a Victoria's Secret model, it's good enough for me. Now on to our eyes, eyeshadows. Where I would recommend that you start is the Honest Beauty Eyeshadow Trios. Especially if you do the beauty bundles, they're really affordable. It's $50 for three products of your choice. So that brings it down to like 16-ish dollars a piece. The two that I have are Soft Sand and Smoky Gray. Both of these are two mattes, one shimmer, which is how I like my trios to be. They're very pigmented, they're very blendable, they are very creamy, they are like top-notch quality. I adore them. However, you can only get trios. If you like individual shadows that you can pop in a Z palette, couple of choices. These top ones here are Red Apple Lipstick. They are really, really pure eyeshadows. They have a great range of shadows, but they are a little more pricey. Whereas the Honey Bee Gardens at the bottom here are quite affordable. They are more of a natural non-toxic shadow than a natural organic shadow. And the middle ones here are silk natural shadows that are, were came loose and I pressed myself, which is not hard to do. It's just kind of messy. And Silk Naturals has a huge shade range. So if you find something on there that you like, but you want it to be pressed, it's really not that hard to do it. For brows, Honest Beauty is a brow pencil similar to the Anastasia Brow Wiz. The tip is just a little bit thicker and there's only four shades. The Alima Pure Brow Pencil is a great, I use it just about every day, but you do have to manually sharpen it. And a lot of people also like Eco Brow, which is a pomade similar to Anastasia Dip Brow. I just haven't used it because it's not, I don't know, I don't really do my brows with pomade usually, so I haven't tried that, but lots of people do like it. Same thing for eyeliner, I haven't found one that I love yet but I also have yet to try Antonym and Honest Beauty, which I've heard great things about. And for mascaras, they all come in white tubes, which is crazy because then they get so dirty and gross, so I apologize. If you like volumizing soft bristles, Lily Lolo is great. It is a dupe for the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, in my opinion. And if you like a lengthening plastic wand, Well People is fantastic as well. Another great one that you can pick up at Target is the Pacifica Dream Big. It has the capability to be a lengthening or a volumizing brush, which is really cool. I tr I've tried it and my lashes looked incredible, but it made my eyes burn just a little bit. So that one's kind of a no-go for me, but I'm guessing most people wouldn't have that issue and it is a great formula. And for lips, I have a whole lot to share with you, but I actually have an organic lipstick collection swatch video, which I will link below if you want to see exact swatches. But one that you probably might already own, especially if you're a Sephora addict, is Bite Beauty. Bite Beauty is definitely not like the cleanest lip product, but it is a great place to start. It has some food grade ingredients. And as you probably know, the formula is super pigmented and long lasting. My favorite is the shade Violet, which is like a Barbie pink. I actually have a Bite Beauty lip swatch collection too that I can link below. And for an affordable option, again, Silk Naturals, they have a whole lot of finishes, but the only one that I would recommend is the Velvet Matte Formulas. They are very matte, they are very pigmented, they are great quality product. You just wouldn't necessarily know it from the packaging. Another one that's pretty affordable, especially if you bundle, so like Honest Beauty doesn't know who I am, I'm not pitching them, but if you wanted to like just really get started, you could try one of their um, base products, a eyeshadow trio, and a lip, and you're like good to go. But I really like their lip crayons, I prefer the Demi Matte formula to their more like sleek moisturizing one. They're both really moisturizing. This does not feel like a matte on your lips, but it is beautiful and long lasting. It slightly smells like a sweet tart, but I love this. And my favorite shade is Peony Kiss, which is a bright pink. And for those of you who just wanna dive in and get the purest of the purest products, 
I've got a couple for you. First brand would be 100% pure. This one is their lip glaze packaging, which is just like a sleek, tall, slim tube. And those ones kind of range. So some of them are very sheer. Some of them are very pigmented. The finishes kind of differ, so you may want to look up swatches before you purchase one online. But they do have a great return policy and they have sales all the time. These red tubes are their anti-aging pomegranate oil lipsticks. And they have oranges, they have bright reds, they have dark reds, they have pinks, they have neutrals, and everything is pigmented with fruit. Like, it's so cool. Um, a couple of my favorites are Calendula, which I'm wearing today. They have a classic red, which is called Poppy, and a bright orange, which is my new favorite, and I've yet to wear it in a video or anything. So I'm just gonna swatch it for you guys, because it's not in any other of my lip swatch videos. Like, look at that bright orange. It literally matches my shirt. It is oh, to die for. My other favorite super pure organic company for lips is Axiology. I have three of theirs and what I love about them is A, the packaging, like you click it, yes, so cool. I love the ingredients, I love the packaging, I love that they have these crazy shades that you're not gonna find anywhere else, like this dark purple, they have light purple, they have blue, they have black, they have white, and then they have other like classic colors. This one in Worth, which is one of my favorites, like a darker orangey red. So anyways, those are my top tried and true picks to help you start your own green or clean beauty makeup collection. And again, if you want more help, definitely head over to my website and get your free clean beauty bootcamp mini course. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave me a comment below and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.